a saturated liquid at 1500 kilopascal and 500 kelvin with an enthalpy of 750 is throttled. Throttle means enthalpy constant to a liquid vapor mixture at 150 kilopascal and 300. So your pressure is drop and temperature is also drop. At the exit condition, the enthalpy of saturated liquid is 500 and enthalpy of saturated vapor is 2500. This one is HF and saturated vapor is HG. The percentage of the original liquid which vaporizes you have to find out. That is the dryness fraction you have to find out. So this represents a throttling process. The initial condition is 1, final is 2. Initially it is a saturated liquid that is water. Finally it is a wet steam. We are given P1 equal to 1500 kilopascal. Temperature T1 is 500 Kelvin. P2 is given as 150 kilopascal. T2 equal to 300 Kelvin. HF2 is given as 500 and HG is given as 2500 at exit condition. Whereas the initial enthalpy HF1 is given as so we have H1 equal to HF is equal to 750 at initial condition. Now because of throttling process, so H1 is same as HF and H2 is given as HF plus X2 into HG minus HF at point number 2. We can put this value and we can solve for X2. So this answer come out to be 0.125. It means that we call H1 is 750. HF2 is 500, X2 you want to calculate, HG is 2500 and HF2 is 500. We have a vessel here and this vessel contains, so we have mass equals to density into volume, so we have volume upon specific volume. Now this is the vessel and we have given here the volume of this vessel contains water equal to 10 kg. And the volume of this vessel is 0 0.05 meter cube. And remaining is steam, that is dry steam. So in this case, the total volume will be equals to the volume of water, Vw, plus volume of steam, that is V steam. So volume of water we can replace from this. So volume of water will be replaced as mass of water multiplied by specific volume of water is Vf plus the mass of steam multiplied by Vg that is dry and saturated steam specific volume. Now in this case the total volume is 0 0.05 mass of water given is 10 Vf is given as 1.404 10 to the power minus 3 plus the mass of steam which is not known Vg is given to us 0 0.02167 so we can solve this for mass of steam and the mass of steam come out to be 1.66 kg hence we can find out the dryness fraction is ms upon ms plus mw so we have 1.66 upon 1.66 so dryness fraction come out to be 0.142 so quality of the mixture is 0.142 consider the state of water below at 1200 degrees Celsius, pressure is given, Vf is given and Vg is given. What will be the state of water at 200 degrees Celsius and 0.126356. So this time we are given the temperature and volume. Now V2 is given as 0.126356. Now correspondingly we have Vg value is 0.126. So this time V2 is greater than Vg. So whenever the specific volume is more than Vg, the steam will be superheated because for superheated steam V2, V soup is given as Vg into T soup upon T sach. So just for comparison you have to find out the specific volume with respect to Vg. If your V is greater than Vg it is superheated and if less than Vg you have to conclude that it is wet steam. So this time we are given the table and the properties are given and we want to calculate the specific enthalpy of water 100 bar and 30 degrees Celsius which is a compressed water. So we are given the specific volume of saturated liquid and saturated vapor and the enthalpy of saturated liquid and saturated vapor. So when the water was initially at 30 degrees Celsius, the pressure was 0 0.04246 and then you have to calculate at 100 bar. It means that the water is compressed and compression is done by the pump. 
So the work done by the pump is stored in the form of heat or enthalpy. So in TS diagram, we can look at the pressure 0 0.04246 bar and we can show 100 bar line also. So the lower pressure is 0 0.04246 bar and the higher pressure is 100 bar. So this point represents the temperature equal to 30 degrees Celsius and this is the corresponding state at 30 degrees Celsius and 100 bar which is a compressed liquid and we have to find out the enthalpy at point number 1. So this liquid is a compressed liquid that is compressed water. Since we have a compressed water so we can calculate first the pump work. So we have a pump. So in the pump we receive the water at 30 degrees Celsius and the water leaves at 30 degrees Celsius. Initial pressure is 0 0.04246 bar and finally your pressure is 100 bar. Temperature is not changing. It means that there is no heat transfer. So 1 to 2 temperature is constant so there is no heat transfer. Now since the pump is a flow process and for flow process the work done is given by integral minus VDP and since the volume of water does not change we can take out the specific volume constant okay by steady flow energy equation we have Q plus 1 by 2 V1 square plus GZ1 plus H1 equals to W plus 1 by 2 V2 square plus GZ2 plus H2 changes in kinetic energy will neglect heat transfer will neglect so Q is 0 even V1 and V2 will cancel out and assume that the potential changes are negligible so Z1 and Z2 will cancel so from this we can calculate the value of H2 for this purpose you have to solve the first work equation that is integral minus VDP since the volume of water is constant we will take out minus of Vf outside integral is from 1 to 2 so we have P2 minus P1 and we will multiply additionally by 100 where the pressure is in bar and it convert into kilojoules per kg so we have Vf equal to 0 0.001004 0 0.001004 we have P2 value is 100 P1 value is minus 0.04246 multiplied by 100 so this value will be minus of 10.035 now you plug this value in steady flow energy equation your H1 is HF is 125.7 so we have 125.7 your work is negative minus 10.035 plus H2 so from this we can calculate the enthalpy of compressed liquid which is very close to 135.7 so choice C is correct so it's almost similar problem so in this case first of all we'll calculate work done by the pump which is integral minus VDP multiplied by 100 is minus of integral DP into 100 100 is conversion from bar to kilojoules your specific volume is 0 0.001017 so we have minus of 0 0.001017 P2 is 120 bar 120 minus 0.1993 multiplied by 100 so this answer will come in kilojoules per kg minus 12.18 kilojoules per kg so we have from steady flow energy equation h1 equal to h2 plus w your value of h1 is 251.2 that is hf value 251.2 equal to h2 and work is minus 12.18 so we can find out the value of h2 which is 263.3 so choice b is correct choice